crossover you didn't know you didn't want. Shad from Shadiversity, Sword Guy and Sargon. Here they are, and he's he's wearing a uh, he's wearing an uh, 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 was that a cloth Shad? Armor? How do you feel about OnlyFans? Yeah, Shad. Oh, he was a, a a married Christian man. It's the fall of civilization, Carl. The fall of civilization is OnlyFans. Okay, well, it pretty much is. Though. <laughs> no, I mean. Not- it's like overstating it. Uh, well, like it is a sign of society's degradation, and uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Would Augustus have permitted OnlyFans? The- Would Augustus have permitted OnlyFans? <laughs> Dude. Would Augustus have permitted these two sniveling men to be in in the fucking Roman Empire? No, he would have had them ran through with gladiuses so fast. Jesus Christ. D- Augustus would have loved on-demand titties. The answer is obviously no. If anybody uh, yeah, knows anything I mean, about Augustus. <laughs> There's a, you, you can look at so many points in history and ask that question. <coughs> like, would society have permitted something like this? And look, yeah, you'll find some instances. Oh, yeah, yeah. Permitted something like this. Uh, so, Go. Christians... Like Sargon of Akkad, well-known Christian theologian, and uh, Shad, well-known Christian. Uh, you were in a good uh, mood? Good. But now you're not. Uh, thanks for the biddies. Uh, this is... This is... <laughs> the degradation of culture is Christianity, actually, by the way. Christian conservative is is cool. the de- the degradation of any culture we have. That's Chad Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a Chad. But you also see where those societies end up going if they mm. are going that far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As you may know, YouTube arbitrarily DPN for oh, good, dude. deliberate mon- tailoring. No one gives a fuck. Three. 30 seconds of content before your ad, dude. Insane. It's one of the scourges of the internet because it's one thing saying, well, prostitution has always existed. So, yes, of course, prostitution has always existed. But the problem, the, 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 the limit. The compression on his voice is still fucking scuffed. We need to get new audio equipment. Actually, it's just your mixing board. Change the setting on your mixing board. Holy shit. The thing factor with prostitution is that you are, a, you are a woman, you are one woman in a place and a time, and you can only really have one client at a time. Mm-hmm. And so it kind of limits the amount. You cannot only have one client at a time, for the record. To prostitution, you're actually able to do. And so the, the problem is kind of contained in its own physical shell. The problem of prostitution is contained. So the problem of prostitution is that resources, primary access to resources for women, is withheld from them often unless they have sex with men for various different reasons, including but not limited to marriage and prostitution. The two things are so closely linked to one another for a reason, because they have forced women into these social roles by commodifying their bodies and over-sexualizing them. And now, after 2,000 years of this, OnlyFans happens, women commodify their own bodies... And now they're like, well, we can't have this. This is just ruining the world. Fascinating. How fucking fascinating. However, with the internet, when you abstract this... Scale ability. And scale it up, then you can essentially be a prostitute to millions of men. Yeah. This is... Being a prostitute to millions of men. When you show, when I when I see your titty, you're you're a prostitute now. That's how that's how these two people see female nudity, which is just fucking insane to me. What an actually fucking insane way to be. They're just jealous. They can't own people. I mean, these two these two guys should be tossed into the fucking uh, sea immediately, right into the ocean. Bring back, <laughs> bring back the IRA. A problem hitherto not experienced by the human race. No, and it's it's a challenge, and this is also yeah. just pornography as well in general. Okay, because yeah, yeah, yeah. once upon a time, um, uh, when it wasn't so easily accessible, guys do shock horror. Men are attracted to women. Guys did great things when it was difficult to see boobs. Uh, yeah. 
Guys did great things when it was difficult to see boobs. <laughs> Unbelievably, yes. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Like, 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 there's the old. What great thing? Neither of these guys do anything great. Why do they always point to, like, the idea of, like, some other guy doing heroics or something? A man. Oh. Men back in the day fought with swords, swords and armor, and cool. that, and they and that's and that was a real man. Please, someone swing a sword at Sargon of Akkad. See how he likes it. See how he likes being a hero. I have a I have a, a, a suspicion that Sargon of Akkad does in fact not want people to swing swords at him. Have these people ever considered that women can just like fucking and like feeling sexy and like being? Paid for both those things? Yeah, no. Uh, that's not how you spell paid, so you really fucked me up there. P-A-I-D. You're welcome. Uh, Shad, you study medieval history. That's not how you spell medieval. Uh, how, <laughs> medieval. Uh, how do you know? You guys are fucking me up with this. When you fuck up, that fucks me up. Remember that. Remember what you inflict on me. Okay? This is your fault. I can't read. Shad, you study medieval history. How do you know nothing of this? You're Sag? Don't be Sag. This guy isn't useful. He's beneficial. Romantic, chivalric kind of ideal of the Lady Fair. That yeah, the yeah. man would go off and perform grand, incredible feats. Go do a grand, incredible feat then. You're both schlubby white men. You, they, don't, they don't do great. What do you mean? Neither of these men have done... They want other men to go do the thing so that they can feel like the validation through vicarious accomplishment of better men than them? Watch sports or something. To win their favor, okay? The idea that you have to work to achieve this thing, this goal. You do have to work to achieve the goal of being with a person. And when it was limited, well... It obviously caught, like, guys, if you really want to uh, see boobs. Nope. This is, they, they, chivalry was about limiting medieval war crimes, not wooing women. <laughs> no, no, no. It was about seeing tits. Dr. Gamble, get one of my darling do. Thank you very much. Right? Yeah. Um, you're going to actually have to go out and do things to earn it, yep. of course, and the right way. Uh mm -hmm. And uh, you already have to do that. What? Seeing tits on your phone is not is not having a person to be with. The male loneliness epidemic is at its height. Also, OnlyFans women are making men bad because they are just so satisfied with OnlyFans that they don't have to strive for anything. Those two things live in the same universe to these people. How does that make any fucking sense? Their brains, you can't kill these two people. They they don't have brains. You couldn't you couldn't dude. You couldn't <laughs> bash Sargon of a co he's a cockroach. You couldn't take his brain out and smash it on rocks. He wouldn't die. It would be nothing to him. He's not using it. Shadiversity is unkillable, though. He has protected all of his vitals <laughs> with this, his padded armor. That was actually one of the motivating factors. You yep. take that away, um, and humans have a, a, a... It's an unfortunate inclination towards laziness. Yes, yeah. so make a, it really easy for mm -hmm. them to see boobs. Yep. And they don't bother doing great things anymore. What do you mean laziness? You, they're both unfit men who have jobs in which they are lazy. Go. Wearing a fucking gambeson to a podcast, literally. <laughs> uh, that's why Shad leaves his head unguarded from his logo-covered armor. It's the least necessary area to be protected. True. It's true. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is... Uh, thanks for agreeing, Carl. This is why feminists won't talk about Emmy fans, which is uh, also the topic of Thomas Dowling's amazing deep think on the subject. Why feminists... Uh, the amazing deep think on our... On our platform? You're reading an article from your own fucking site? This is the content Sargon of Akkad makes? Go. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, anyway, so I'm certain that they would call me a feminist. Why feminists don't talk? I talk about OnlyFans all the time. Women who are feminists talk about OnlyFans all the time. Uh, you guys don't shut up about this stuff. Hobbies don't exist. Only boobs make us do things. Dude, these guys are the least pro-men advocates I've ever heard. Men, you are reduced to... My dick is actually so moist, it's dripping. That, right there. The pyramids of Egypt were built in full view of glorious tits. That's right. Because, really, you'd think that feminists would have a lot to say about OnlyFans. You would, actually. You would be like, hang on, isn't this the commodification of women's bodies? This is... Yes, women are choosing to commodify their own bodies. It's not... So it's not a... F They're making money from men in a patriarchal system. It's redistributing wealth toward women. They are using the system against itself. You have hypersexualized women, and now they are making money off of you, and you hate it. It's hilarious. Hilarious. So a woman can be sexualized and broke or sexualized and have money. Which one is she going to choose? In a situation where you commodify everyone's survival necessities at all times. I mean, fucking weep and cry about it. Hilarious. Actually hilarious that you're upset about this. Fun fact about Sargon. Years ago, Sargon flirted with Blair White in messages during a stream. Sargon's wife got mad and said, you do this so much. It's like, a can't, it's a, it's like I can never trust. Trying to Google search the Reddit with the screenshots, but I can't seem to find it. Funny how chuds talk about virtue, yet these sleazy cheaters. Thoughts? Uh, I mean, I don't care what, I don't care what he does. I don't care what he does. I wouldn't, I'm not surprised he's a chaser. To the male gaze over a map. Lots of chasers out there, dude. This market phenomenon. This, this seems like it's actually a kind of way of dehumanizing and just commodifying women. Yeah. But the, in, oh, sorry. But in the a way that would be unacceptable to them. Exactly. But the problem is, is women being free sexual liberation ah, and being, the, uh, yeah. they're on the horns of a dilemma exactly women that. are free to commodify themselves yes. and just sell themselves as sex objects to men who don't respect them but have five pounds yes to men that don't respect them sargon res big respecter of women he is huge respecter of women both of these guys talking about the only fans ladies um so yeah, so the relationship they have with their OnlyFans subscribers is pay pig. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it's for. And the guys know that. Deal with it. Fucking deal with it. I, I love this. I actually love this for women. Um, As a retaliatory event in capitalism, yeah. Fewer women would show... Would, would debase themselves and, and show their titties... If uh, survival necessities were met, by the way, in my system, OnlyFans isn't a problem. I'm just tossing that out there. Fewer women would would in, engage in the in the in the system. They wouldn't need to. They wouldn't feel the need to. Some would still do it because they like it, and that's dope. We like titties. Don't you like titties? You guys are such fucking. They're just, dude. I'm pretty sure they're all. They've all just been gay. You know? yeah. And so there is a dis That's what Jeremy tried to do with Twitch Make his audience a pay pig audience Yeah 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 Distinct contradiction in yes. the narrative That they've pushed for so long That it is completely So I could absolutely see it, it would be so embarrassing If they actually tried to talk about this openly And honestly What can they do? Yeah yeah It's just uh, Oh uh, Here here I am So what you're saying is th Certain things you've pushed for Like with incredible insistence in the, in the past, mm. sometimes un unhinged insistence mm. has some really terrible outcomes. That's how the the terrible outcome is what? Look at some of this terrible out, out, terrible That's outcomes, shall we? So this is a business insider and one woman's experience. I regret doing OnlyFans when I turned eighteen. People treated me like an object, and the money just wasn't worth the degradation. Damn. One woman's account of doing OnlyFans and not liking it. So, yeah, people will treat you like an object in the money. They're going to degrade you and treat you like an object anyways. You, with an OnlyFans, will be harassed by dudes like Sargon of Akkad. So, like, the thing that he says is bad here is him. He's Go. the bad guy that this is being discussed. <laughs> oh, I was degraded and people treated me like shit. 
Uh, oh. <clears throat> Both these guys are sub to an OnlyFans. Prove me wrong. Um, well, it, this isn't... No, 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 no. Of course men act like this. Of course men act like this. This isn't a problem with men. No, this is a problem with women allowing men to act like this. <laughs> I regret doing OnlyFans. People... Who do you think these people were? Treated me like an object and the money just wasn't worth the degradation. People. Do you think do you do you think this guy? <laughs> do you think this guy is gonna have a good take here? Dude. Every time I do this, every time it doesn't let me fucking post right away. And I have to, I have to, you've seen me do this on stream several times. <laughs> so stupid. Again, feminists, so we. Are we hearing we things? Young emoji. woman Damn. treated like an object, degraded. You're right. Crickets, absolute crickets from feminists. Right. Crickets. So this woman says, uh -oh. "When I turned eighteen, I did something that I thought would help me feel empowered as a woman, but instead it left me traumatized." Dude, who is saying that OnlyFans is empowering? This is a psyop. For Tessa Latifi, check. Has she actually ever done an OnlyFans? Doubt. Press F to doubt this shit. This seems like a fucking cop. I regret smoking weed when I was a teenager. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I joined OnlyFans. Stop I spent it. three years as an OnlyFans creator, but looking back, those were the most miserable years of my life. At the time, joining OnlyFans felt like a natural progression. I was already posting bikini pictures on Instagram, so I didn't really feel like there was a big difference between posting photos there and posting them on OnlyFans. And to be fair, it's not a great leap, is it? You know, I was at, I, that was the thought I had in my head. Was like, bikini pictures? Can't see bikini like, pictures? Because... Honestly, this is the thing that people might Amazing. not realize is that even wearing a bikini is actually exposing a lot. Christian men need to be excised from life. No more Christian men allowed. Literally, women wearing a bathing suit. A bathing suit! Can God drown just England in a flood again? Just the UK. One more time. For old time's sake, put a little fucking rainbow over it. Kill the Christians with the flood. God, one more. One more time. All of yourself online. Um, and I think Shad lives in Australia. Well, he's there right now. He is in the room can be highly sexualized in actual fact um uh, i don't consider pornography necessarily nudity i consider it images that are designed for sexual sexual arousal. content this is fucking insane a fucking insane pornography is now a thing that is that is interpreted as sexual chat he can be australian and be in the uk currently with sargon of a right there chat he's right there in the room please don't make me describe to you how rooms work in physical locations he's right there every room in a bathing suit is exposing too much they're susceptible to sword attacks need cloth armor minimum true chat we don't need to spread this out we can localize it Exactly, and they do not. One, one god rainburst is all it takes. Need to show, you've got quote unquote nudity to be pornographic, and everyone knows this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they don't. A lot of people don't like to admit it. That was so like, oh, you know, like, like I can post uh, images of my bikini body online, and yes. that's not me doing anything over the line. I was yes. like, sure, but then. What is over the line of, with that? I would love to fucking talk to these two. Put me in the fucking room, coach. Put me in the room with these two disgusting troglodytes right now. I'm so fucking over conservative men. 
Literally, what the fuck? Went to the beach today. Pornography. Nah. Everyone knows that Netflix's cuties was way past the line. Yeah, I, unbelievably. Well, act, well, none I, of them were nude, but everyone knew it was nude. What are we talking about the cuties thing? Who gives a fuck about what the fuck? Just bringing up Netflix cuties again. Uh, you know they walk around at home every night, no shirt, gut out, pants, and zip. Well, that's at home. They can do that. Didn't disgusting. Ex and men, male bodies are not sexual. Well, there chat. are people that defend it, Carl. Yeah, yeah, but those... People. They out themselves. As... I was going to say they should out themselves yeah. so we can know to avoid them. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but you know, I think you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right on that. Minority Report would fucking bust into my house right now. Tom Cruise would smash those cuts on me so fast. Um, so she carries on saying, I saw other creators talking about how being an OnlyFans creator was empowering and the way to be in charge of your own life. And all that sounded good to me, but the reality of what actually happened was nothing like that. Sneeko defended cuties? <laughs> Not surprising. Pedophile. During my time as an only fan. I mean, you know, <clears throat> part of the reason the uh, he was so drawn to his faith as well. Creator, I was more depressed and anxious than I've ever been before. I was making really good money, on average twenty thousand dollars a month. That's pretty but I felt awesome. like like my subscribers were cost, constantly pushing my boundaries. And this is the thing, like, yeah, that is a lot of money, right? Twenty grand a month for a person just receiving their bank. You're like, oh my god, that's not going to come without cost. Yeah. Like, there is a price for that kind of money. Very steep. Cool. And this is what she's getting at in this whole thing, right? But, like, she's... The steep price is to be subjected to men. What's the, what's the, what's, what is it for this one? Hmm. <laughs> uh, what is this? Go. <laughs> uh, I'm sure Shadowversity Mormon Baby Knight has impure thoughts from seeing exposed shoulders. Call them porn shoulders with the church. True. Hate to see you hate to see porn when you turn on the uh, when you turn on the old television. You see a woman's shoulder on the news. Ugh, pornography on my morning, on my night news. I think I'm gonna do <laughs> no. Hmm. Hmm. Go. Where is it? There it is. Make it a jester. Because he's medieval. No. She's going to probably go into some of the realization of what she's ruined by doing this choice, but... What she's ruined. Even then, I'm not sure the true magnitude of the damage that she's caused by that decision is probably going to have, have on her life. I mean... There is something so beautiful and wholesome about an intimate relationship with someone you love that is kept private to, to those, those two people, right? <laughs> These are just insecure men. It's always insecure men. They're inoculated against the accusation at this point because they know they're insecure. But, like, man, this is, this is just patented insecurity shit. This is all it is. Jealousy of these fucking women being able to have financial independence because they fucking <laughs> they show some titties. A bunch of men want to see it, including these fucking two. <laughs> Aww, these guys think that they are owed uh, women and some kind of like some kind of like exclusivity to her entire existence like these these men think that a woman's existence is for them to have isn't sargon also mad about feminists 
air quotes, asking for less sexualized female video game characters. Yeah, let's see. Does he have content on sexualizing female video game characters? Right. And uh, men have a natural instinct to want that. Hence, there is a natural avoidance with, well, like, women with high body counts and oh, yeah. things like that because that type of connection and intimacy feels like it's been uh, invaded upon like, uh, there, or maybe even not possible yes e even that even that and so that's going to make it so hard for women in this pos yeah. her position to try and have that let alone so many other problems he, that's chad has content on boob armor certainly he was against boob armor they call it censorship when people demand women not be sexualized in media, but when women are seen as sexual IRL and making money off it, that's bad. When women commodify their own sexuality, it's bad. When men commodify women's sexuality and co-opt it to sell something, that's good. Sex sells, baby! That's on the internet forever. Yeah. I mean, and you're not going to look the way you do forever, by the way. Yeah. And if you do have kids and a, like, th they're going to see it. <laughs> you have created a legacy. They're going to see your imperfection. I mean, I like women. Hot take. Moms are hot. People who have had kids can still be hot. Like, so admitting that your, your wives aren't hot and that you prefer children or some shit. Pedophiles. Literally what? Uh, red fucking flag talking about their bodies like this. You're not going to look like that forever. Like what? Young? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting that you, you value youngness so much. How young? How young, Shadiversity and Sargon? How young is the highest value in your opinion? How close to pedophilia are we going to get? 18 exactly? On the dot? How about 17 and a half? How about privately? Privately with just the two of you, how fucking low does that number go? <laughs> God. Ugh. Yep. Okay. Ban Christianity. And these women are not thinking about what type of legacy they want. No. They're just thinking about the here and now, the immediate <laughs> gratification, the money. It's their legacy. Name three women you met in 1980 that you don't know now. I agree. The, your legacy isn't a real thing. Your legacy, no one's going to give a shit. Live however you want to live. You only have now. Fuck your legacy. These He's talking about fucking swords and dragons and shit. Shut the fuck up. Your legacy doesn't matter. You have no legacy. Legacy. What a made up fucking con concept, dude. Name three normal people you grew up with that have any kind of legacy that anyone's going to remember. Once you're dead and the people that knew that, like, there's no legacy. You don't have no legacy if you're a normal person. Stop. 20 grand a month. I mean, man. I mean, you know. And uh, when women start to come to realization of that, yeah, it hits them hard. And then there's a deeper part that, they, if they realize what's what what potential that they have robbed themselves of potential that's a very hard thing to confront what potential what are we talking about here i have no idea what what they're fucking talking about if you do an only fans you lose potential to do stuff i don't know and by the way, I think that's why a lot of OnlyFans girls are so deeply in denial about I'm empowered. This is great. You should try it too. Because who says that? Who says I'm empowered? They have made this up. Stunning and brave. Fucking this is empowering. These are all made up things. No one says about these activities. No one says, ah, yes, OnlyFans is so empowering. What they say is I like sharing my body and I'm going to make money off of it when I do. It's just, it's just so fucking ridiculous. If you are a man that gets uncomfortable about women's nudity, that is a you problem. It's literally turn inward. Why does that bother you? You're a fucking sicko, dude. You're literally part of the problem. If nudity or sexuality bothers you when people consenting do it with each other, it's a you fucking problem. Always. They, if they admit it, 
that, that can be very confronting. So let's try and avoid that as possible. And no, I'm, I'm doubling down. This decision is great. I'm empowered. And then Misery cool. Loves Company. And Jesus fucking Christ. <clears throat> Fun fact. Uh, many brothels were owned by women in the Old West, and they basically run the towns. Uh, how's that for a legacy? That's right. Um, not everyone is miserable doing that. No, every single every single woman is miserable because he can only conceive of miserable women being sexual. He's only ever whenever they've been sexual with women, the women have been miserable. So they only understand women's sexuality as a miserable miserable experience. I mean, listen to this, right? She says, no matter what I posted, they wanted more explicit content. What a surprise. Look at the kind of people you have solicited mm -hmm. for your online career, right? I ended up sending nude photos a few times, even though I didn't want to, because I felt so pressured and they were offering so much money. I would also receive terrible messages that were so degrading, and, then, and I didn't see any filtering systems on OnlyFans to block them. Mm. Surprised there's no block function on OnlyFans. Um, I don't think there's no block function. I'm pretty sure there's a block function. Uh, if I read horror stories from retail, does that mean we should talk about how retail jobs should be eliminated? <laughs> there are. There are there are blockable. You can block people on OnlyFans. Wow. It was obvious Surprise. that they saw me as an object for their pleasure and not as a person. It was awful being constantly sexualized to such a dehumanizing level. So this 100% seems like a fake person wrote this. There has to be... That's what bad men are doing. I mean, it just it just seems like so fucking... Either this lady didn't know what the fuck feminism was right before this. She has no understanding of how men the fuck are. Uh, or she's a, she's perfectly in a psyop. Like she's just doing this for this specific reason. Chat GPTs article. I mean, it just comes across as like a man wrote it. What did she expect? Exactly. What did you expect? What, what did you expect? Men to act right? Men to act better? No, men aren't gonna act better. We can't teach men to act right. Let's just continue to teach them that this is the proper behavior. To do. Yes, Sargon and Shad, continue to engage in furthering the problem you see. Like, like, like they were seeing you as an object. Do you, what do you think? Of You're literally a service. <laughs> like... You're literally a service. You see what I mean? In instantly de dehumanized when they see a nude woman. No more human there. This is your, f this is your problem. <laughs> This is what a prostitute is. But I, that was yeah, a prostitute is not, a pa in fact, a person. It's a service now. Do they say it to cashiers? No, because cashiers have their tops on and because they're not immediately. If they see a hot cashier, it's a little bit like that, though. That would be a question I would put. What were you expecting out of that? Do you, were you thinking that they would see the person behind the boobs? Like The person behind the boobs. Uh, yep. And she yes. She says, uh, for all the money I was bringing in, I was spending it just as quickly. I spent money to mask my depression and anxiety. I got used to a luxurious lifestyle. Well, I'd go on fancy trips to beautiful locations to shoot content in a new setting. Each time I'd think maybe... No, it's not unreasonable for people to be expected to be treated like humans, but what if you have tits? If you have tits, I'm supposed to t treat you like a human still? I don't know. Maybe this will be the trip I'm happy on, but it was never true. I was always miserable. And yeah. And she carries on like she felt she thinks OnlyFans felt like a path to self sufficiently and for a sufficiency and for a time it was. The money was good, it changed her life, but she started isolating herself because she was depressed and lost the closeness that she had with her family. Her friendship started to suffer, and then her whole life revolved around creating content and talking to my subscribers. Wow, sounds like someone had a COVID situation. <laughs> wow, during lockdown, I only uploaded content and talked to my subscribers and didn't get a lot of contact with my people. Surprise! <laughs> God. Okay, so when people have... So if I do anything, right? So if, I, if, I, if I'm here and you see my body and what you say is not something that, that I have... I have any control over if you just see like a picture of me and then you say something right okay so we can teach men that they can be sexual they can explore sexuality they can they can they can consume porn if they want fine with that and still be like 
normal fucking non-psychos. You don't have to be a psycho to sexualize a woman. You don't have to be an asshole. You don't have to be a piece of shit. You can you can think that someone is hot. You could want to fuck someone's brains out and also treat them like a human. Like, this is so such a real life thing. <laughs> But these men can't. They, these men don't know. They don't have a sexual, uh, a healthy sexual understanding of themselves or their wives for certain. I spent at least two hours a day messaging subscribers and took a few hours to shoot and edit the content. It was a full time job. And she said she had no idea what she was getting into. She was young and naive and didn't see the big deal of posting sexy pictures. And then once she'd done it, there was no reason to stop since it was already there and she could just continue. But she says, I felt terrible. All the attention I was getting was creepy and making me sick. So subscribers kept asking for more and more, and I found myself stepping past my own boundaries, and it left me feeling suicidal. Yeah, so I'm going to assume that she doesn't have a very good understanding of her sexuality either, and probably didn't get good sex ed about consent, probably doesn't understand uh, the conversation about uh, commodified sex uh, work, probably doesn't understand any of these conversations. It sounds like a liberal at best, and so was sent unprepared into this space uh, and was treated like shit by the men there without any understanding of why it was happening. And was pretty pretty shocked to find that uh, men are dog shit. <laughs> like, <clears throat> like, man. Sounds like she was overwhelmed by how much she had to do, how much work she was doing. Yeah. I was close to ending my life, to be honest. I couldn't live with myself, and I felt like I was constantly on the edge of a mental breakdown. My life was spiraling, and I needed help. And then she found Jesus. <laughs> Literally told you. Fucking told you. Agenda. Look at that. One big agenda. Huh. Look at the grift. Actually... <laughs> Not even joking. I'm that's glad she ends that, that, that that's uh, well a good answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. That's literally. She says, you know, I found my way back to Jesus at the end of it, which is great. But why did she see? What I said back to Jesus. So I was right. Doesn't have a good understanding of sex or sexuality. Doesn't understand. You know, no coping mechanisms for this shit. Uh, he thinks that the way men act and about her body is normal and she's the one that's wrong and, and vile and not the other way around. Literally taught to victim blame yourself. Self-internalized misogyny. It's all showing up. Incredible. Fascinating stuff. Wow. What a, what a glorious article. We end up in that spiral in the first place. Yes, and... Uh that's a societal issue. That's about the narratives and the standards that people are upholding and pushing. OnlyFans have a response on this. Oh, okay. An OnlyFans spokeswoman, interesting, sent the following statement to Insider. OnlyFans is designed to empower creators to connect with their fans in a safe environment behind a secure paywall. I mean, fuck OnlyFans too. Like, they're no, they're not going to be better on Go. this. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Like an Italian trans person, one big age and creators maintain ownership of all the content. If a creator chooses to leave the platform, they can close all their accounts and delete all the content at any time. In addition, creators have the power to block or report users who behave inappropriately, and we take additional action when necessary. Oh, well, that's great. There's a, a word there that perhaps I'd like to unpack a bit. She says empower. Yeah. Empower. I find that very intriguing because I find it sinister. Yes, yes, I do, because it's ultimately achieving the opposite. Um, there is a type of uh, empowerment women inherently have, mm. and it's honestly being the gatekeepers of relationships. <laughs> <laughs> the gatekeepers of relationships, dude. Stop fucking Christian men. Will you just stop it? Will you stop fucking Christian men? If someone says, I believe in God, stop it. They're not. Please. Please. This is this needs to end. Christianity is so fucking stupid. It makes people so fucking dumb. They are they are they're fucking zombies. Social zombies consuming the corpse of society. <laughs> Actually fucking so dumb. Women control relationships. Sounds like a, they're just incels. Incels with wives. Uh, this sounds a plot for the newest God's Not Dead movie. Jake, think of two or three f 
funny, clever titles for the new Guys Not Dead movie about OnlyFans. That's plot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Sex. Yeah, it is. It's sex. Okay. The, the natural result of Thanks if you have one group that wants something more than another group and <laughs> and and they they make that clear to you all day every day. Exactly. Right. And the other group that has a, a lesser drive to it, a lesser drive offer that suddenly women do not have a lesser sex drive the christian men conservative men are simply not sexy that's what it is women want to fuck women have sex drives go behold the real npcs in their natural habitat men don't know how to turn us on <laughs> They're just so, so fucking virginal, dude. It's crazy how little these guys actually have a handle on any of this stuff. They are going to be the gatekeepers of that. Yeah. Come on, it's just a natural byproduct yeah. of, of how it I, works. I'm a gatekeeper of washing the dishes in my household. Mm -hmm. My wife really wants those dishes washed, but man, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. If I'm just not interested. And so... Oh, I I have the upper hand here. <laughs> that, that's that's like it's I'm such a simple thing. But it's true though. Women have an incredible power in that if yeah. they restrict mm. access to it, and and they restrict access to it. These they're so. Oh my God. God. It's not surprising to learn that Sargon of Akkad won't clean a dish unless he gets a sexual favor from his uh, maritally raped wife. Like, this is actually fucking disgusting, bro. Like, literally, literally to have any of the household labor finish, we, we need to also, by the way, do the women need to do other kinds of, of labor. And he, he, he thinks that this isn't... <laughs> do, do you feel like this is prostitution? Do you feel like this is like room and board prostitution the way that Christians view their wives? This, this is why it's like, yes, it's the, the, the stereotypical feminine purity kind of thing, right? Is not something purity. I think that is uh, old, antiquated, and blocks people. No, no, no. If they understand that, they can use it in a very significant way to basically find a great man find a great man who only will do things if you do sexual favors for him what are great men dude what what greatness is that and you know what right i i would not normally cite andrew tate on this subject <laughs> right but he tweeted out something the other day that I think was actually really good. It was something along the lines of women are born with magic. And they have this magic in them. And every time they sleep with a man, they give some of the magic away. How is, that's so insightful. They give some magic away. It's like Highlander men are out here stealing fucking women's magic. By the way, conservative men say the same thing about men's cum. It's just magic. And if they sleep with enough men, then eventually they've lost all their magic and they can't get it back. And if a man collects enough magic from each of these women, like Andrew Tate obviously has, then he becomes a kind of status symbol in and of himself just because of what he's achieved. What? There's, there's no human value here. And, okay, it's a, an interesting way of framing it, but honestly, I think there's a kind of truth to it. Yeah, I, I would say a broken clock could be right. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah right. I'm, um, I'm not... Because yeah. there, there's something that's related to this that is a talking point he's shared as well about um, women are born with value and men are born without value. And yeah. I, I actually don't think that's entirely correct because men do have value, but it's a different type of... Men have potential of, value. Yeah, but they also, even from a very young age, they have strength sure. and, and ability to protect and provide. And that is an incredible inherent value that they can offer and that suddenly... Bro, these guys have such a like low opinion of humans. Christians are so fucking cucked. I can't I can't deal with this. I don't care how much Carl thinks he he called himself an atheist back in the past. I don't know what he calls himself now, but this man's a fucking Christian. Everything he he's just culturally Christian. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You're seeing both sides offering something that's inherent to their natures. Which, who are these guys going to defend anybody from? 
What? They're pudgy little guys. They're not going to save anybody. You have a fucking, like, <laughs> you have a prop gambeson on. <laughs> this isn't going to. We need, we need, we need something. We need some kind of change here, man. They, they simply shouldn't be able. <laughs> they simply shouldn't be able to have these opinions and have, and have like a, like a fine social life. People should be ostracized for this kind of fucking crazy lunacy. This is such fucking crazy stuff. So, th but these things have to be worked on for men. It does. It does. A man who's incompetent and can't, <laughs> you know, whatever, make a weapon or whatever. Uh, you know, he's he can't make a weapon. Make a weapon, Sargon. Actually, just potential value at that. Point. Mm -hmm. You know, but women. I, I get what you're Intrinsically, saying. have that value. Interesting. So, what do you think a three-year-old child girl has intrinsic value? What? Tell me. Tell me a three-year-old, a toddler's intrinsic value. Because they're talking about pussies right now, they're talking. They're talking about sexuality. Tell me, what are children born with that you value so highly? Non pedophiles. Women are more valuable than men. That's right. Well, you know, it, it will manifest. You know, when they come to maturity, and yeah. you would, you would. Well, I say women. You know. Well, yeah, women, but. If boys are raised right, that's going to manifest naturally yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, but coming back to the whole relationship and gatekeeping of, of sex thing, right? Gatekeeping if women actually sex. understand the power that that is by, by actually controlling who has access to it in the way that they understand, you know, to, to get a relationship, that's empowering. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, you have vastly more power. Like I've I've so, heard so many like exchanges between. Only fans, people trying to, and one was hilarious and funny where um, it was just a message exchange, um, something along the lines of. He's going to just meandering to try to find some kind of uh, memory of, of something that agrees with his position on this. <laughs> Taking a long time to get here. I have an OnlyFans, and the guy says, okay. He basically dumps it. He's like, why did you dump me? And he, his response was, well, why am I going to go out with you if I can get what I want for two bucks or something like that? I, Which I, is literally what her grandmother could have told her. Yeah. No one yeah. buys the milk and they get the, buys the cow and they get the milk for they, they give Cow and milk. It's fascinating how we describe the commodification of women's bodies. I've heard that for a long time. The cow and the milk. And women are cows, you know, that you milk. Hmm. Sounds like we love women a lot. Sounds like we really value their humanity, boys. Great job. Vote away Go. for free. Yeah. You know, Sargon's beliefs about young children, by the way. I think it's, yeah, it depends on the child, really, doesn't it? Go. These people act like The Walking Dead happened tomorrow. I was well under the age of uh, 11 when I started having sex. And so what I like to do is put people on the, uh, on the other side of the argument. It's like, what you have to do is you have to say that someone like me not anybody else, but me, that I was too stupid to appreciate the nature and quality of what I was, what I was doing at the time. Hmm. So please convince me I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, I think, um, I think it's, yeah, it depends on the child, really, doesn't it? Because uh, some kids... That's what the cat was saying. Well, <laughs> it's true, and, you know, it's, it's true, though, you know. It's, you know, it should really be a case-by-case -case basis, but I can see why... The whole thing. But it's, it's not really something I'd ever put too much thought into, to be honest. Great. Yeah, okay. And look, the guy was obviously... Awesome. Good job, Carl. Yeah, shallow, you know. Sure, but like... Fact, but there's an underlining truth there yeah. that you might... People, women, you know, might want to pay attention to. And if they if they actually understand... Floppies. And the power that they have, if they control access... To something that is very intimate, all right, very at, valuable. At, at very valuable. Because then, if you actually, if they say, "I'm only going to allow any man to come close to having access to something so intimate," close to having access. Seeing a titty is not close to having access to anybody or anything. This is crazy, dude. We are just listening to two men. That really have poor relationships with women.
like hypersexualizing women. Hypersexualized. So disgusting. No humanity to be seen. Don't you know that the exact same thing you get out of a relationship with me is what I post on OnlyFans? That's right. Don't isn't that the exact same thing you get? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, all you are is a pussy. Yeah. And not even... And titties. You know what drives me nuts? They're like, you get the milk for free, so a picture of a woman's body is like... That's evil. milk to me. That's exactly That's the milk. same thing as being married to a physical woman that you get to have sex with? Well, having, uh, if it, having sex is drinking milk. <laughs> oh, seeing milk. milk. <laughs> seeing milk. I'm satisfied. Is how... Is, is satisfied. Yeah. Well, to be fair, they're talking about masturbating. They're saying, if I come a lot, I'm not going to want a girlfriend or something. But aren't they the exact same guys for, like, I need a wife to cook and clean and have my babies? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Men are super lonely. Okay? Because they're, they can't get girlfriends because OnlyFans girls... But also, they're satisfied by the OnlyFans girls so they don't have girlfriends. But then they argue that it's not about, it's not just sexual needs. They have emotional needs and want, like, friends and connections and families and stuff. Then why aren't they nice to people? Then why don't, why don't they just be socially nice? Why don't they be likable and That's enjoyable God people? And not masculine. Oh. Okay. It's someone worthy, okay? And the men will become And worthy. men will become, like, yeah. you know, especially if it's more, it will be less so now because society has slipped on its head. But back, you know, in a more traditional way, men naturally understood that if you want to attract a good woman, you need to become a good man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen. Neither of these men are good men. They just, they both just said that they extort their wives. <laughs> They don't view them as anything other than fuckholes. What, what's good about either of these fucking guys? Let's have a look at this one. So this is just one I found on Reddit. Um, I'm in an amazing relationship with an amazing man with a, who I'm totally in love with. I'm blissfully happy. We have an honest, open and honest relationship with something I love, but I haven't been totally honest about my past, right? So she's posting this because she's afraid. Mm -hmm. she is she's afraid of the man. Yep. Yep. Has actually found that thing that she really wants. She is in this, this bubble of magic and she realizes, wait a minute, this could all go horribly wrong tomorrow because, as she says, I made an OnlyFans account which only lasted for one month prior to meeting him. It was nothing hardcore and my face wasn't in any of the photos. I also used a different name and have since deleted everything linking to it. Um, but I regret it happened. Uh, it's something I regret a lot. And to any girls considering any fans, please stop and think about how it may impact your future. Sounds like a man wrote this for the record. I have a nagging feeling that I should tell him. Part of me feels like I owe it to him because I want us to know everything about each other without secrets. But the other part is terrified it will be too much for him. If it's crazy that you have an open and honest relationship and you're scared to tell him this... Sounds real open and honest to be afraid of the man that you say that you f love a lot. Uh, either super young or uh, literally a man writing this. The other part of me thinks that I don't need to tell him because it happened before we met in a time when I was a very different person to who I am now. Uh, I don't want to know everything about his past relationships, etc. so he doesn't need to know everything about mine. I think to some extent all people have skeletons in the closet and I think that's okay. I don't want to know anything... I don't want to know everything about his past release. Yeah, dude, this sounds like too, like insecure people. Uh, I guess I would like some advice. If I tell him, it will be game over. If I don't tell him, and our lives are amazing, it will always be in the back of my mind. But not only that, like someone could tell him, and because I've seen other stories where, like, you know, this this one woman yeah. had a particular tattoo on like a thigh or something, and someone sent her boyfriend a picture of her only flans, and he recognized the tattoo, relationship over, and that's what she's afraid. Oh no. Of. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. <sighs> yeah, dude, uh, this is a great litmus test. I hope you really have a contact. See, cow is knitting. Thanks so much for the prime. First time. Uh, here's a good litmus test. 
post at least one nude on OnlyFans, and uh, if your prospective date or partner is offended by that, uh, that's a litmus test they failed. You can just move on to the next person. Dodged a bullet. This is a great litmus test for dating, actually. Go. Cool. Sincerely, Janet, sad about news, adult human female. Yep. She needs to tell him, especially just for that, because... If someone else does... If someone else does... It's be way worse. Exactly. So much worse. She, she can at least soften the blow. So look, yes. I made a mistake three years before I met you. For a month, I opened the fans because I had a bunch of people in my ear telling me it was a good idea. I didn't do anything too bad, and I've deleted it. It's been gone for years. But I just really wanted you to know, and I'm just really sorry about it. And maybe he'll be like, I've made mistakes too. Probably. Yes. Like, maybe he can be mature about it. Maybe it's a weight off your shoulders and you can relax. But the point is... Where she's saying that to any girls considering it, stop and think about how, how it'll impact your future because it will impact your future. Yes, it will. I... Because we will make sure that the society you live in continues to be aggressively anti women's liberation, the ability for them to be fucking people without you hypersexualizing them. And if they wish to freely commodify, commodify their own bodies in the free market capitalist system we've set up <laughs> to survive, because they have to survive. This is like apologizing for dating another man before him. Someone has seen your body before me. I can't believe this shit. I want to be the only man to view... Every woman. Every woman doesn't want to fuck me immediately. What the fuck? This is unbelievable. And uh, again, there are OnlyFans girls are trying to, you know, the person get misery loves coming all day, and they also say, I have a boyfriend and with he's fine about it. Is your boyfriend is a very low quality man who's yes. not worth the salt that he would be paid in the legions, okay? Good point. Paid in the legions. The legions. Dude, stop trying to shoehorn in the fucking Roman stuff. Uh, what a loser. The legions. I wish I wish we had legions. I would love to see them both die on the battlefield. Good point, because you're right. I like a man who would be okay with that. Yeah, he's not a man. No man that I would respect anyway. Yeah. And so, yeah. And so the third one that I would... No man that I would respect would respect his wife. <laughs> True. Makes sense. Two guys with no visiting rights energy. Through his woman, of course. Joining OnlyFans made me a fortune, but it's ruined my dating life. We're just going to do another one? All right, I'm good. Uh, I think I'm actually good on this one. Do we need to see the rest of this? No is the answer. I don't need to see the rest of this. Uh, it's just sexism. It's just pretty garden variety sexism from Shadowversity and Sargon. There's literally nothing else they're saying. They're just bringing up like dubious articles <laughs> or or self reports on uh reddit which i don't know if is prized for its accuracy amazing 